Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. the cornfields. That must be it. Is, after that shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Could have told him anything. Quick, find him. They're trying to hide in the fields. Look at the birds. Go that way. Where the hell are they? I will find you, bastards! One more, Charles. Did you see those birds?
see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. He's mine! Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You can go to hell! The gunshot! They're coming from that barn! Come on! Should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on, let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's... More and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. Long time, boy. Don't go! Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You gotta help me. 
It's that crazy gunsmith. <laughs> he made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. Please, you gotta get me out of here. Welcome back. What can I offer you? Terrible thing what happened to the parlor house. No surprise the... Hey, that area's for me only. Watch yourself in my shop. Hey, hey, I can't have anyone wearing a mask in this shop. Are you gonna make me get the law on this? Just take the mask off. Come on back when you reconsider. Telling you the truth, he's got me chained up. Morning, Ted. Morning, partner. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. You looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Nobody seen your face. Oh my God! Watch out!
Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up with it, ain't he? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. Put a hole in this son of a bitch. Get you back to the dock.
Yeah, you know this feller, don't you? Oh my! <laughs> Look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Yeah. It wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, Make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. <laughs> <laughs>